This is my 1969 Chevy Impala buried in the sand. I grew up with this car. My mom bought it before I was born. When I was little, I used to sit in the front seat and pretend I knew how to drive. I later used it in a movie with my friends, drove it to college. So why is it buried on the beach? Well, because actually, this is what you call a forced perspective shot with a scale model. Okay, so what is this and what am I doing? I've been shooting a short live action film for my channel, which takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. The robots have taken over and it's about a girl who saves the world with a flipbook. <laughs> the world is almost like a mix of Terminator and Mad Max. And there's this one shot on the beach where we wanted a Mad Max style car to be like half buried in the sand, like it ended up there after a big battle or something. And so I thought, hey, let's put my 1969 Impala in the sand. So I took a plastic scale model of my car and gave that model to my buddy, Michael Possert, who is one of the world's best model makers. Seriously, he's worked on props for some big movies like the first Iron Man and, you know, classics like Terminator 2, Alien 3, just to name a few. So I asked him to take my model and make it look like my old car, you know, rust it up add some futuristic Mad Max apocalyptic flavor to it. So this is the final model. I just love how this turned out. Michael's skills are amazing and it really looks like my old rusty car, uh, which used to be painted red, but then, you know, has since been taken over by rust. All these little details, just, it's all so cool. The spikes on the wheels, uh, I just love it. So forced perspective, it's one of my favorite special effect techniques in movies where you're basically using camera angle and perspective to create the illusion of something being a different size than it actually is. It was used a lot in Lord of the Rings, but it's really challenging to get it to look right, as I quickly discovered. No, I'm having a real hard time with this one. I think when you were like tilting it forward more, it was helping. So actually getting the shot, we had a couple things working against us. One, the sun was setting, and two, the tide was gonna come in soon. So we were quickly losing daylight. I hadn't been able to practice the setup beforehand. I just could not get it to look right. I kept repositioning and repositioning, changing the angle slightly, tweaking the sand, just trying to get it to look convincing. And that's when the ocean decided to crash our party. Ah! The tide came in and washed us out. So we had to pick a new spot higher up on the beach and start it over again. In principle, force perspective is simple. You keep the foreground and background both in focus, get the right angle, and you should be able to pull off a somewhat convincing effect of a scale model appearing life-size. Getting this effect to look right uh, just takes time and tweaking and getting the angle just right to make it look convincing. So I just messed with it, messed with it until I finally just had to say, well, I think it's good. So how well did the effect work? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Here's how it turned out. So I personally think it turned out pretty rad and I'm just, I'm really happy with how it looks. Okay, now here are a couple more shots we did this way so you can see how those turned out as well. So I can't wait to show you guys the full finished uh, post-apocalyptic short film, which we'll be posting on my channel soon. So make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss it. This was a lot of effort just for like a one or two second shot, but I think it was totally worth it. I, I think it looks so awesome. I regretfully sold my real car several years ago and I do kind of regret it. I miss that car. So in some weird way, having it make a cameo in this little short film gives me a little bit of a closure, a way to give my old car a final appearance as a, a farewell. I like to imagine that here in the apocalypse, it served its driver well and went out in a blaze of glory. Farewell, 1969 Impala. Farewell.